go. We're going live because I'm interviewing Kim Dang and showing you guys how you can build your own Chrome extensions, your own software, and make thousands of dollars a month uh, in recurring revenue from those softwares. But she was supposed to be here, and now she's gone. Uh, hopefully, she comes back. She has a link to come back. Oh, you guys can see all the books I'm reading. That's cool. I haven't. I ordered a crap ton of books. Oh, here we go. I what happened? Okay. I don't now. know. Now you're here. <laughs> Simple difficulties. We've got Kim Dang here. Uh, has programs called Chrome Boss, or your company is called Chrome Boss. You're amazing with uh, Chrome extensions and being able to monetize them and sell them and make thousands of dollars in recurring revenue from the different software. So we're going to dig into that and how you do it and how you help people do it. Uh, but Kim, thank you so much for being here. No problem. Thanks, Andrew, for having me. And um, you are a user of two of my students' uh, Chrome extensions Ooh. as well as mine. Yes, I'm paying them both $29 a month <laughs> for awesome so Chrome extensions. So we have uh, Andrew's Chrome extension that is a Messenger CRM, which is awesome. Oh, I didn't realize how stupid this cup is. Um, and <laughs> number two uh, is something ninja. Uh, where Social blade. Social so blade. Social blade. It, uh, it deletes friends for you. Uh, and it has a bunch of other capabilities, uh, so it's pretty cool. Uh, we got a couple people here. I love your faces. If you stay on the whole time, uh, I have something super special for everybody here. Uh, it's a new PDF that we whipped up uh, showing you how to um, reclaim those defaulted payments on autopilot uh, and putting them into an email sequence, all that stuff. So stay around. Kim, I'll get it over to you. Um, but, uh, let's just, let's just start this thing. Sarah, what's up? Thanks for the like. If you guys like this, I'll actually like you more. So the more <laughs> you like this Facebook live, my love for you goes up. Um, fun fact, I don't make the rules. It just happens. Uh, Kim, I am talking way too much. So I'll let you take it away and introduce yourself and talk a little bit about Chrome extensions. Hey guys, uh, for those of you who don't know me. Um, my name is Kim and I help entrepreneurs make monthly reoccurring reliable income with simple software. Uh, a big part of that is Chrome extensions. And if you have no idea what Chrome extensions are, they're really cool because you could make them for a couple hundred to a few thousand and they sit on your Chrome browser and they utilize, um, they interact with websites that are already have a lot of foot traffic like Facebook, Netflix, what have you. And they save you time and money. So you can charge, if you have your own Chrome extension, you can charge a monthly reoccurring amount for it. So yeah, it's pretty cool. So that's yeah. what I do. So, <laughs> yeah. so the first question I have for you is how hard is it to create your own Chrome extension? To create your own Chrome extension, like if you were to code it yourself or if however, you were to get one. However you do it. Okay. How difficult is it for your clients to get the extension up and running? Oh, okay. Um, usually the turnaround time is around a month to have the Chrome extension be made. And during that time, you're just sitting there waiting for it. So you could build hype around it for the launch, the actual launch, or you could um, do so many things during the meantime, get a wait list. Uh, but otherwise, the whole process is really simplified. It's you come in, you have an idea. If you don't have an idea, we give you an idea because we've been doing market <laughs> research for a while. <laughs> and we know that these are awesome ideas that would have subscribers. And then you get, uh, you get it back from the developer after you paid for it to be made. Then once you get it back, then you throw it up to, there's seven different marketplaces that already have foot traffic with affiliates. 
as well as a whole list of influencers that I've been gathering. I call them app launch influencers. So they will help you launch as well mm -hmm. to their audience. Oh, so cool. um, the whole process is pretty simple. It's made, we make sure that people will subscribe to it. You launch it to marketplaces and influencers. So you can't really lose. And the yeah. crazy thing is, um, like one of the extensions you mentioned, Robert, he made the social blade. Yeah. He only had 130 subscribers at one point and charging $29, you know, um, 99 cents a month. That's over two, that's around 2000 uh, mm -hmm. monthly reoccurring income without him doing anything extra. And he's grown it to over 400 subscribers by now. So that's over wow. 5,000. And he launched like literally uh, in May yeah, so, of this what, year. That's so awesome. And the subscribers are only gonna go up and it's a, it's a need in the space with just auto deleting uh, friends on Facebook. It's super important. Um, what are what are the price ranges for Chrome extensions? What's like the low end? What's the high end? A lot of them are freemium version. So that's why there's a lot of myths you have to break. You could be like, oh, well, why Chrome extensions? Because I have free ones and I don't pay for any, right? Yeah. Um, the myth, that's a big myth because a lot of people come in and they are using the free version, but there's always the pro version to all these free ones. So mm -hmm. I've seen pricing as weird as, um, like nine cents a minute, uh, to, uh, $107 a month to $9 a year. So it, it really uh, varies, but the sweet spot that I recommend people doing if they have their own software is have a price range that is easy to um, get a big monthly reoccurring income from. So $29 a month is what mm -hmm. I recommend for a lot of people. Yeah, so do you do any of the premium model for your clients or is it usually just uh, monthly reoccurring um, and there's no free version. So if you're going to go the free version route, then you better be monetizing on the back end. As in, you better have already offers and things that you're going to uh, get income for, uh, like courses and programs um, on the back end. But mm -hmm. if you, I always encourage go and get the cash. <laughs> So get the get the product, make money from it, and don't. Um, usually, if you're gonna do anything free, do free for a certain period, and then cut it off, like 14 day free trial, 30 day free trial. But off the bat, you should be charging because you want to give yourself that proof of concept. You want to start seeing the income come in, and you know uh, reinvest it or use it for another bigger project you have. It's at the end of the day, it is investing in cash flow. I love it. Um, so if anybody out there has a Chrome extension idea, has a software idea, has some type of idea that you'd like to put in Chrome extension, drop it down below, uh, just in a quick blurb. I'd love to know your thoughts. Um, I had an idea for uh, Messenger CRM for the longest time, and then I saw it pop up, and I'm like, well, now I don't need to make it. I can just buy it. Um, but what are, well, I've seen the Facebook Chrome extensions, right? Um, what Chrome extensions haven't I seen where you've kind of been the brainchild behind it or, or helped somebody create? There's a lot of Chrome extensions. You have no idea what they are. Um, there is one that uh, one of the Chrome boss in my community, he created a Chrome extension that lets you stream across all Facebook groups. Mm -hmm. um, if you own like seven or 10 Facebook groups, you can stream across all of it simultaneously with a click of a button, as mm -hmm. well as Facebook pages and Facebook personal profile. So instead of being confined to you know one group, it's just you choose the groups, check, 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 and click go live, you go live everywhere. And that saves people a lot of time. And he already has subscribers paying him for that uh, software that he launched literally last week. So what's that yeah. software called? It's called uh, Stream Boss. 
Stream Boss with mm. one S. Cool. That's awesome. What what else? Anything outside of Facebook uh, where you've helped them create those Chrome extensions? Um, there are so many. Um, I okay. There's one that's being created. Uh, it's for Instagram, and what happens during that process is we make sure there's that aha feature that people really need. So a lot of a Instagram agencies, their whole success is to get people to follow, right? So mm -hmm. that who are the easiest people to convert from non-follower to follower? It's people who like or comment on the existing posts. So mm -hmm. what the Chrome extension will do is great, uh, take all the information of all the accounts that like or comment but are not a follower yet and then point that out so they could easily go and be like, okay, this is a list of people who like and, and comment, they engage, but they don't follow, convert them. And uh, mm -hmm. right now they're doing it manually. <laughs> so <laughs> with yeah. a Chrome extension, that solves that problem. Just very yeah. simple, tiny tools. Very cool. So let's say I have no idea what I want to create for a Chrome extension. I just know I want monthly reoccurring revenue uh, through a Chrome extension. And um, hmm. let's say I'm an agency owner, right? An advertising agency owner. Well, where do I start with you? If you're an advertising agency owner, what, um, where are you advertising? Are you advertising on YouTube? Are you advertising on Facebook? Where are you advertising? Oh, yeah. I'm advertising on Facebook, uh, YouTube. I'm doing some uh, email campaigns uh, and that good stuff. Okay. Um, here's an idea that's similar related to what you're doing uh, or if you're in that field. A lot of people uh, – who are Facebook agency, they need to open that dashboard, you know, to have all the features of cost per click and um, to show their their own clients that they're succeeding. They're like, hey, look, we reduce your cost per click and we increase your conversion. Well, a lot of times they take that data and then they, they have to put it into some readable format for their clients because their clients aren't gonna like try to interpret all that. So mm -hmm. what, um, what you can quickly do is just get that data and, and this is on the same line as kind of a lot of the extensions I make, just push it to a Google sheet and also have a graph on the chain, like your actual progress in being an agency uh, person with clients. I that was just an, a random idea, but I actually posted about it. And this is what I do to gain interest. I'm like, hey, guys, I'm going to create this Chrome extension. I'm launching it. This is what it does. Do you want it? When I posted that I, simple idea and I'm like, this might be good for Facebook agencies. <laughs> I had like 70 something comments saying, yes, 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 yeah, I want it like within a few hours. So I know that that's something people want. So yes. if you have like. In your, in your world, if there's something that you can collapse time for either yourself to show your clients that you're doing really well or, um, or your clients to collapse time for them, if you can do either or, just copy, paste, kind of things like that, you will win. You will have subscribers for sure. Yeah, I love this conversation and that example right there because as a business owner, I want to see data and I want to see dashboards. I want to see graphs. I want to see charts. And if we can push data that is coming from one source to a spreadsheet or a Google sheet, and then those numbers, you can actually automate and change it into a graph inside of a Google sheet or a spreadsheet. Um, and then it's all automated. So I can go in as a business owner and see exactly where we're at in, let's say, cost per click uh, compared to last month's cost per click. And I can see it in a uh, some type of a graph format. And I know how to make decisions immediately based off of that. So I think that that's really cool. Yeah. Wait, do you used to do Facebook or do you used to do Facebook agency? Or are you still yeah. doing that? No, I used to. I used to run an agency, 
And recently I've gotten really good with Google Sheets and I wish I was good with Google Sheets back then because I make all these fucking elaborate graphs and charts and tracking KPIs and I can see everything at a glance. So I was just thinking like moving data from one platform, let's say business manager to uh, a Google Sheet where it auto fills the number in, then that number can translate into a graph or a chart where I can make a decision based off of that data immediately. I think that's really fun. Yeah, and uh, the same line as you know how Russell Brunson's like funnel hack, funnel hack. You could also do Chrome extension hacking, which is once you know that that's an idea. You, like I actually went a little bit further and looked around. And I'm like, wait, is there is there a solution right now? Facebook is very friendly to you grabbing their data, so they even have an integration with uh, Microsoft Excel right now. However, I read that the Microsoft Excel download, like Facebook lets you download all that data to Microsoft Excel, it's broken, it's horrible, and people hate it. So another thing, another hack is that if you know that the current audience is like, they're super hungry for a solution, and they just don't see it anywhere, then how hard is it for you to like get a few hundred subscribers, you know, out of the millions online? Yeah, that might use it. Based off of this one comment, I need to go into my phone and see who it actually is. But uh, this one person is saying I need an extension that uh, messages people in my group mem or my group members without putting me in Facebook jail. To I think he's saying or she is saying to get people into the Facebook group. But one thing that pops to the top of mind for me, which would be an awesome extension, is being able to attach. Um, responses to a certain post. So let's say I put a post up of who wants this PDF document and I get 50 comments, right? Well, yeah. if I manually send it over, it's gonna put me in Facebook, Facebook jail if I try to send out 20 in a matter of like two minutes, right? So if yeah. there was a Chrome extension where I could just click a button and it would respond to all those people in Messenger and make it timed out so I never go to Facebook group jail, that would be incredible. Is that possible? That is 100% possible. <laughs> in fact, actually, um, like the, an adjacent idea, not super adjacent, but like uh, you could toggle the amount of time um, that you can send it. But one of the people in my Chromebox community, one of my clients, he's actually created a Chrome extension that lets you, you know how you tag a bunch of people, you spend time like tagging people for a post. If you're going to do a post that, I don't know, is already tagging a bunch of people, he made it so all those tags are a template. So you don't have to sit there and tag like a shitload of people. They're already uh, pre part of the template you already added them as part of like buyers group or whatever group he just clicks a button it tags everyone within a few oh, seconds oh. yeah That's so you can do so many there's so many things you can do with a chrome extension and your idea with like sending a message without landing in facebook jail that's absolutely possible very cool we'll talk about that and what was the last extension that you just talked about what's the name of that extension that one, I blank out, but I, it's yet to be released. I actually got a, um, uh, what is it, a Zoom call. I did a Zoom call with him, and he just showed it to me. He's like, Kim, this is where I'm at. And I, I saw it, and I was like, holy shit, <laughs> this saves a lot of time. But he doesn't have a landing page yet. <laughs> okay, okay, cool. Let me know when that comes out. Um, You're going to be like the user of like a billion Chrome extensions. <laughs> right? I mean, all my people. This is so nice. That's awesome. Um, guys, thank you so much for your comments. Uh, if you hit the like button or the heart button, uh, Kim loves you more. Her love increases for you. So hit the like button, hit the heart button. Matthew, who just hit the like button. Thank you, buddy. Uh, if you have any questions for Kim on Chrome extensions, on um, selling Chrome extensions, anything like that, drop them down below. Um, but you have developers on staff that help your clients create their Chrome extensions, right? Yeah, I, I look at what are the biggest issues for when you go out and try to do this stuff. Chrome extensions are not big budget projects. So most of the time, if you go and you find someone random online, 
they're going to ghost you for a bigger project or they're going to uh, take forever to do your project. So mm -hmm. to counteract that, I'm like, I really need my own group of developers who are super reliable, who will answer back, who will finish projects, mm -hmm. even if it is low volume because they could go and they could do a $10,000 project and get paid you know, why would they care about your rinky dinky $2,000 project or like, you know, a few hundred dollar project. So, um, yeah, I have a group of developers right now. Um, it's 13 total and they're reliable and they won't ghost you and they will finish the job. So yeah. I created that environment to solve that problem. That is huge, a huge problem. Um, if you guys try to go out and do it on your own and, and get a developer, there's a bad developers get a bad rep uh, and it's kind of well deserved because I've talked to so many people that have tried to build softwares, build Chrome extensions and their developers just ghost. Their money is not <laughs> developer ghosts. Um, I was just talking to Chad, the CEO of Dashclicks and they have this awesome software that uh, they help uh, deliver for agency owners. But he said, I will never hire a developer for his big software that is not in-house. Cause like you, he, he wants to be in the office right next to his developers. So he knows that that developer is staying on task and you have sourced developers that are reliable and that get the job done. And that is fucking awesome. And that is worth paying for. Um, so like, I just want everybody to be wary about developers and they know what they're getting into. If they ever look to source a developer outside of your program, that's, that's, it's, Kind of scary. Um, uh, we have a question here. Is this only for Chrome extension development? Uh, I think so, right? That's the only thing uh, right now, Chrome extension. Have you looked I, at the software? The so environment is specialized with, uh, we specialize with Chrome extensions just because I know the world so well. Um, however, these developers, uh, they have five plus years of experience developing apps, mobile apps, iPhone apps. Um, and to them, Chrome extensions are a piece of cake. So, <laughs> yeah. so it's like they're real legit developers. They just happen to cater to my Chrome extension community because um, the developers I work with, when they start working with me, uh, the quality of the people coming into my world are higher quality. You know, I vet those people so they don't have uh, bosses who like freaking demand everything from them and, and treat them bad. So it's like win-win for everyone. They get respect. They get a safe environment to go and be creative. And then um, they also get paid, uh, you know, not like bottom dollar for slavery work. So it's win-win on both sides. You get the project completed. You get that reliability. They don't work like slave labor. <laughs> yeah. and, and they're happy and they stay. So. Yeah. so development is overall very cheap for the return on investment that you're getting. Um, and it comes down, it, it takes a month, about a month roughly to get your Chrome extension ready to go, ready to go out to the masses. In that time, you help people promote it, uh, create a landing page, create a payment page, uh, create a video for it as well. I see that on all of your your pages um, and get testimonials for it as well before the official big launch. Is that correct? Yeah. So it's kind of like a software business in a box. Like um, the reason why I've created this community with like the coaches in place and the developers in place and the influencers in place is because I feel like we know that in the back of our mind, software was a big answer to reliable income that comes every month. So you don't have a lot of ups and downs and dips. And especially in like this day and age, people are like, you know, taking a lot of traditional routes. They're like doing agency or their real estate, you know, which is totally fine. But um, for the rock stars, they're doing really well. But for the masses, they're like, their income is kind of like this. So I figured, hey, like, you don't know what you don't know. And a lot of people don't know they can own software in a month's time with a few thousand dollars. That mm -hmm. is 
completely mind blowing, even to, I don't know, if you go out and talk to anyone on the street, my Lyft driver today, he was like, what? And then I showed him my Stripe account. I'm like, look, like, you know, $21,000 last month. And I showed it to him for a uh, group member. And he was like, oh my God, I need to talk to you. And he's like, I'm struggling with real estate. I pay for leads and they don't convert. Um, you know? awesome. Yeah. Um, <laughs> And I think the beautiful thing about having a Chrome extension is that's another asset for your business. So you create a course, that's an asset for your business. Uh, you create, I mean, uh, my other programs, Authority Accelerator, Authority Accelerator, Lead, those are assets for my business that I can sell at any time. With a Chrome extension, there's no, not really anything on the back end except for customer service, uh, a little tweaks here and there. Um, and it's an asset for your business that's making you monthly reoccurring revenue. I think that is so freaking powerful. Is there anything that you would add on top of that? The, the I just, um, I really agree with you. It, what it is, is it's online digital real estate. If you're going to invest in real estate anyway, might as well invest in something that's online where the tenants won't fuck up your property, you know, where you don't have to buy, uh, you don't have to do hundreds of thousands of dollars on one property to get like a few thousand dollars extra a month. Mm -hmm. um, it's like the return on investment in this type of property that sits there and increases in subscribers every single month is so valuable that I'm like, you know, the best time to start this is, is 10 years ago when you heard about Bill Gates or whatever, you know, that was the best time to start it. But the next best time is now is today. So because one, it's not dependent on your face. So <laughs> if you were to, you don't have to keep on creating new content. It doesn't have to be your face. And it's a stream of cash flow that is, yeah, that you can gift to people, that you can give to your loved ones or your children or your wife or whoever in the future. Um, so that's great because, I don't know, it, yeah. it, I feel like it takes a lot of work to keep on creating new content and that's something you don't have to do as well. I, I love that you bring up that point that it's not relying on your face. You could actually, I mean, you're building a buyer's list and you could potentially sell it one day as well. Um, and you've built your brand around Chrome Boss. I've started building my brand around Tribe of Buyers. And like, I think that's a big important thing to mention on this live is you wanna build your brand around something outside of yourself. You can still have your personal brand, but um, Grant Cardone, awesome, but like his whole brand is around him and he might be able to sell that because he's so big, but at the same time, if you're building a brand around uh, something else like Tribe Buyers, Chrome Boss, then it makes it so much easier to sell if you wanna sell it one day. So start thinking way ahead of time and start building your brand around a business and not around yourself. You can still have your, you can still have your personal brand, but you want to have your business as well that you're creating to sell. Here, here's another thing that's really exciting. You can sell a business that has existing subscribers that pay per month at like 10x or 12x, the or even more the amount of uh, you know that's coming in per month because they know that that property is worth investing in since every single month they know how much people are going to pay and how much cash they'll get back. Um, on top of that, you can also, I was speaking to Laura Bloomfield and she specializes in patents and she's like, yeah, you can patent a Chrome extension. And when you do that, um, then people will buy you out. But once you're patent pending or you have some kind of patent on that idea, then your value just skyrockets. So no the shit. buyout would be huge. There are so many competing Chrome extensions. I think just a lot of developers don't know that they can patent their Chrome extensions. And if they do, they could probably sue the person that's creating a Chrome extension just like theirs. Um, and that's probably gonna be a part of one of your programs uh, coming up soon, because that's a key <laughs> problem for it. Uh, I wouldn't encourage suing. What I do encourage is exiting at a, you know, 20X amount. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. But yeah, right. yeah, you right. can do that. You can protect your protect intellectual your property. Intellectual, or protect your property, your asset, your intellectual property as well. 
And uh, that way it makes it a lot more sellable and there aren't competitors in the space. So I think patenting is super crucial. Yeah, um, something that I heard about this on this TED talk um, that I listened to on the plane right here is this guy talking about um, gaming and how he stopped, how uh, just hang in with me on this, um, on this point. But he was like, a lot of times in the gaming world, we have, you know, friends who are all gamers. We have um, this uh, feedback, this positive feedback loop. So we're stuck in that. And that's why gamers like lose house and home just to game for hours and hours a day. And that struck a chord with me because I feel like for a lot of people, they they have a lot of feed, good positive feedback on their current um, kind of cycle or, you know, rut, like work, go home, work, go home. And I feel um, for, for a lot of it, a lot of what I teach and maybe for a lot of what you teach, it's like we're just basically giving them permission to stop and, and pursue something where um, it's going to bring a bunch of like value back and they are investing back in themselves and in their own income and, you know, growing their list of buyers. But um, I feel like what I do is basically telling people, hey, you know, I give you permission to pursue this because a lot of people are afraid of software. A lot of people are afraid of technology. And when I say software, it scares a bunch of people away, <laughs> you know? <laughs> so like, I'm just shouting out, like, I give you permission. I give you total permission. And by the way, there's all these things that I've gathered together to make that road really easy for yeah. you. Oh, I love that. And I'm in the same boat. Like the best thing I ever did was quit my job uh, and pursue entrepreneurship and my passion. And quitting my job allowed me to create that space so I could focus on my passion and what I ultimately wanted to create. And if I hadn't taken the leap, it wouldn't have happened. Um, and uh, if I had known that I could have uh, built an audience um, and created a software that would bring me monthly reoccurring revenue, uh, while I try to transition out of my job, that would have been incredible as well. Um, and I think anybody that is not satisfied in their job right now, create a plan, create goals, create a way to get out of it and pursue that. Do, stop at nothing to get out of your job because once you do, the whole world opens up for you. So thank you so much for bringing up that point, Kim. No uh, <laughs> uh, we have a few questions here. Uh, so Eamon is saying, uh, do you create Chrome extensions for clients or do you build the extension first and then you sell it? Um, a little bit of both. There, You can go into the program and get something white labeled and just buy that out uh, as a white label version, which makes it easy. Or um, we work with you to f to bring your vision to life in a practical way where you will have subscribers. So if you're doing like underwater uh, basket weaving Chrome extension, we're not, you know, we're not going to, we're just going to bring you down to be like, no, you know. Um, but there's already this whole well of ideas that we've been gathering and um asking the market and getting good feedback on that makes it easy for once you come in, there's already ideas if you don't have any ideas. Mm -hmm. um, but I really, really encourage you to come in with some ideas. So you're emotionally uh, connected to, you know, if you're semi emotionally connected to your idea, it just pushes you really hard to be inspired by what you're doing and not to feel demotivated or, you know, um, when the going gets rough. So to me, you could do it either way. Um, buy out white label or we help you bring your vision to life. Mm, love that. Uh, Lily is asking who are the best types of clients to develop software? And number two, how big do you have to be? So you don't have to have any audience. 
Um, so I don't know what how big you have to be, but um, maybe you can shed some light on that question, Andrew. What do you mean, how big? How big? Like, if you need to have an audience to mm. succeed? Yeah, I think it comes. Uh, actually, this picks up uh, not not with what Lily's saying, but uh, something that pops to the top of my mind is people that go into things and buy things without any expectations. Like whenever somebody says, um, I, uh, I bought this program or I went to this mastermind and I didn't have any expectations and it's like, you should have. Like you should have expectations, you should have goals, you should have a vision of what you wanna create in that program with whatever you're, you're purchasing. So if your goals or to do a launch in two months and make $10,000 from your Chrome extension, then first you want to develop your audience. You want to have a big audience. But if you want to get your Chrome extension up and running and make a thousand bucks in the first month, um, or, or maybe even like 300 bucks or something like that, then you don't need to have an audience to get that started. Like you can get 10 subscribers without having an audience and Kim can walk you through that, I'm sure. So it's, it comes down to what are your expectations going into it and what do you want out of it? And if you want something huge, you're probably gonna need an audience first. But if not, if you wanna ease into it, I know Kim can help you, uh, help you with getting your subscribers and all of that good stuff. Yeah, I feel like that question asked like the, like the technical stuff but when, when you think about it, right, even if you fail and you don't make uh, that much money, let's say 2000 a month, uh, that is like worst case scenario, one to 2000 a month extra on your Chrome extension, on your app, um, that is too, still like how much is that a year, you know? That's still 24000 And then how long are you going to keep that stream of income coming in? Maybe for as long as you live. Um, so, but let's say you only keep it for three years, then the return on investment is $72,000 um, for something that barely succeeds, like one to $2,000 a month that you don't need to tend to, you know, mm -hmm. if it never even grows. Mm -hmm. um, so that's the vehicle that you're choosing to be part of your portfolio of cash flow in your life. Mm -hmm. um, and that's what it comes down to. When you choose to invest in it, you're choosing to invest in breaking down the myths and breaking down all the fears around technology that has been holding you back. You know, it's it's getting rid of the thing that says, you know, I could have I could have done that project. You know, I could have been the next Uber. You know, it's getting rid of that feeling of regret mm -hmm. because you're finally pursuing it. And worst case scenario. You know, you're making a couple thousand dollars extra a month. You could keep that for many, many years. Yeah. So um, walking in that path without thinking about like, like, oh, do I have this? Do I need to have that? Do I just walk towards that path? But here's a real life example. Malik, he only has a calculator. He charges $9.99 a month. He has no landing page. He has no Stripe. He has no PayPal. He literally has a Chrome extension and he puts it on one marketplace, the Chrome web store. And he makes around that Chrome extension passively used to make 700 to a thousand dollars a month wow. when it was 9.99 a year. He changed it to 9.99 a month and he 12 X his income wow. on something that and he had no audience, like literally no audience. It's just foot traffic from the marketplace. That's awesome. Uh, cool. I think we're winding stuff down a, a little here. So Kim, thank you so much for being here. Kim is going to be a sponsor at Tribe Buyers Live, uh, October 18th through the 20th in beautiful San Diego, California. Come see us. We have specials going on this week. If you buy your ticket, you said 997, it's 297. And you get bonuses such as a, a masterclass with me on how to be a CEO and delegate and hire like a boss to save you 10 to 20 hours per week. Plus a uh, masterclass with Eli and Brad Newman um, on how to uh, uh, make money and sell. Uh, Eli uh, Wild is Tony Robbins' number one sales guy. So you get to ask him questions directly. Uh, and you get to buy one, get one free. So you can gift a ticket to a friend as well. If you purchase this week and come meet 
Kim and uh, me there. And also, Kim, thank you so much for being here. Drop the knowledge. How uh, should people get in contact with you if they want to create a Chrome extension and sell a Chrome extension or just learn more? I would suggest that they, um, if they're very serious, if they're really serious about it, then they book a call with me at kimcdang.com. And um, that's me and my team. Um, if they just want like a small, tiny sample, then they should uh, get my lowest offer, which is my Chrome Boss Masterclass. And that's at bit.ly slash app CEOs. And if uh, they purchase that, then the pro part of their proceeds will go into buying um, a ticket to Tribe of Buyers Live as well. So Ooh. if they purchase that, then they get um, all the blueprint of actually how does everything work. Um, and then they get a free ticket to Tribe of Buyers Live. Woo, that's awesome. Uh, if you don't mind, after the interview, drop those uh, links down below so people can just click in and go. Um, but Kim, this has been awesome. Uh, I think you're helping so many business owners, entrepreneurs uh, with really developing monthly reoccurring revenue and having that asset for their business that they can sell over and over and over. Um, and you don't need an audience, but if you have an audience, I would make a Chrome extension. Uh, and uh, I will be doing that shortly. Um, but uh, Kim, thank you so much. Uh, is there any last words or anything you want to leave on or anything you uh, wanted to say during this interview that you didn't get to say? Oh, just uh, thanks for having me on. And we give you permission to pursue your dreams. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Kim. Guys, uh, if you hit that heart button, if you hit that like button, our love and like uh, uh, goes up uh, for you. Uh, so hit that heart button, hit that like button if you enjoyed the interview. Uh, hit Kim up uh, if you want to talk about Chrome extensions and make your own Chrome extension. Uh, and I was.